Before we do any coding, let's first assign the basic interface for our text editor. Go to a toolbox and drag a text box control to the form. Under properties, we'll give it the name TXT and also enable both of its scroll bars. To stretch the text box, change the dock property to fill and set multiline to true. Now, go back to the toolbox and this time add a menu strip which will rename the menu. Click the arrow button on the menu strip and let Visual Studio automatically add some standard menu items. For now, we'll remove the tools and help menus along with redo from the edit menu and print preview from the file menu. To make things a bit cleaner, I'll go ahead and rename all of the menu items. The basic interface is now complete. To begin coding, let's add a click event to each one of them. We'll be using the same handler for all events. This way, we can simply use a switch statement with one case for each menu item. Let's first implement edit menus. These are all basic functionalities of the textbox control, so it already includes these methods. The exit handler is just as easy to create using the application exit function. The other event handlers will require a bit more coding, so we'll move their functionality into new methods which we're going to implement in the next couple of sections.